Welcome back to my channel guys and today I'm going to be showing you a concept that you can use for more than just portraits. You can uh, also edit the design once you've made it using the pre-set palettes made by PowerPoint to suit the theme of your presentation. First of all you need a photo. Use the art effects and use the cutout tool so that you can see where the colours separate and then use the free form auto shape tool and click where you need the line to appear and what you're basically going to do is cut out using the freeform tool each of the color shapes so that you have your own uh, vector. Uh, this will allow you to change the color um, and the texture of each of the shapes and basically make that portrait your own. Cut around each bit if you click, the line will follow you, and if you click and drag, you'll be able to maneuver around slightly more wavy uh, shapes around the, for example, the eye. The whole design took me around 20 to 30 minutes, um, so it doesn't take as long as you'd expect it to. Um, it's a very effective method that you can use in your slides. Okay, so once you've created your shape, you can edit the points. I've uh, forgotten to cap it off at the top, so I'm adding one extra point. Um, you need to make sure that you um, round back on yourself when you're creating an auto shape. So where you start, it has to be where you finish. Otherwise, you won't be able to fill the shape with the color that you've chosen. So for the um, next section, I'm just cutting across rather than cutting around the inside of that shape. Um, and that's because that uh, particular shape is going to be in the background, so it doesn't matter uh, exactly where it lands. As you can see now, I'm going around all the finer details. It takes a while to do, but um, you, you might need to go back um, a few times to pick up on any details that you've missed. Again, I'm cutting across because this shape will also be in the background and that's the really dark shape that you can see the shadow effect on the face. Um, now I'm just drawing around the eyes and all the finer details. At the end I'll get rid of the outline and I'll fill each of these auto shapes um, with a colour that suits. Okay there's my auto shapes so it's time to start colouring them in. First of all I'm going to use the um, colour picker um, and I'm going to take the sample colour from um, the original photo uh, before I start editing them and that will allow me to make sure that I um, can distinguish where each shape belongs and I'll be able to find out which ones are missing. The colour uh, picker tool is a very effective tool so I recommend you use it. Okay, I'm happy with that. So now I've got the whole image in separate pieces so I can maneuver it as I like. And I can also start editing the colors. Using the um, palette tool, I'm going to um, play about with the colors. I recommend trying to um, keep the colors similar in terms of the depth and darkness of each one. Um, but you can be as uh, bright and vibrant as you like. I hope this tool has been useful to you, let me know how it goes.